an occasion for committed fans and neutrals alike. This is the North London derby when we expect the unexpected. And we're with you every step of the way. Live coverage here on EA TV. Well, a big night ahead for players and fans alike here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur, and they take on Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Ivan Perisic in the wide positions. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketia. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Partey. Real chance. And saved by the keeper. Well, opting for the short corner. Martinelli, superb block. Poibier. Ivan Perisic. Harry Kane. Useful looking ball. Well, as the replay shows us, Kane picks out the perfect pass to beat that defensive line. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Song, not much chance for the keeper there. go again and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal and promising stuff from Arsenal but they dealt with the threat posed Ivan Perisic Kane great vision from Harry Kane and tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem.
Now, how about the short corner? Perisic. And now, this is Longley. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Son. Return to Perisic. Just the challenge that was required. Martinelli. Well, possibilities in the centre. And threading it forward. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. But he's gone short with it. And Kessia. And reading it absolutely superbly. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Matt Doherty. Kiel. Bisuma. Brian Heel. And back with Kane. He's protecting it effectively. And now, passing it through. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Short corner favoured. Heel. And support available. Oh, big opportunity. Pivotal moment defensively. Bukayo Saka and Kessia lost possession Matt Doherty Kane Poibier can he put it away and a goal they balance in the lead much needed security Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Saka. Real chance. A goal. Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Here we see it again. It all started with that superb 1-2. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So on with the match, 2-1 is the scoreline, what's going to happen next? Harry Kane. Kane, very quick thinking there. Martinelli. Nkesia. Not the pass he had in mind. Can he find the net? And a fantastic diving save. <laughs> Elects to go short. Marcinelli. And that's a very good parry. Arsenal chasing the game, but a corner kick here. Favouring the short one. Martinelli and using his body to good effect.
Top class defending. Kane. And a very good challenge. Half time coming up. Spurs leading here. Stuart, your overall take. Yeah, it's certainly been an open game. But on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity. Oh, but look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. Oh, yes. Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends, and all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. Yes, sheer entertainment. That pretty much sums it up. Looking for the angle. And a goal! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Bukayo Saka and he's got the beating of his opponent well, far from the ideal pass you've got to say oh what an opportunity oh there it is a back and forth sort of match now they're level again the lead lasted merely minutes well as you see it's not a good pass out from the back it's on the wrong side of the play he's trying to pass it to it's intercepted and it's a good finish yes of course it is but it's not good defending all round No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, dazzling stuff from Son in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, what an outstanding first half he had. He dictated the play and was a constant threat. With... So here we go into the second half at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. He's protecting it well. No possibilities in the centre. Martinelli. Partey. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Let's fly here. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. And they're going for the short one.
Nicely timed tackle. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Son. Advantage, Spurs. Javier. Son. Very quick thinking there. Martin Odegaard. Ben White. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. An encouraging Arsenal move. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Breaking at pace. Kiel. Doherty. Could cross it in here. Robier. Oh, a good diving save. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number 27, Lucas Moore. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 35, Alexander Zinchenko. And taken short. Number three, Kim Tien. Son. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Xhaka. Could be! Oh, goodness me, he's hit the post. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, Spurs are struggling here. Had that gone in, they would have been in a very difficult position. Can they now have a reaction? Granit Xhaka. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Plenty of support here. Excellent ball over the top. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Arsenal's free kick here. Martin Odegaard. Saka. He's taken on his opponent here. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. And short it is. Parte. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These Spurs fans are making so much noise, but can they get the equaliser?
Well, borderline offside, but correct. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. The cross is on. Surely! Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Ivan Perisic. And Hoybier with it. Lucas. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Can they hit on the break? Well, an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. And now Perisic. Smith Rowe. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Xhaka. Can he take advantage? And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Goal for Arsenal, number seven, Bukayo Saka. Lucas, a Spurs free kick it's going to be. <laughs> the electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Martin Odegaard making sure it didn't get past him so full time the referee's whistle is sounded and it is a disappointing defeat for Tottenham Hotspur you're absolutely right Derek while the result is poor the display was even worse they never got to grips with the opposition they were second best in every facet of the game they need to do a lot of improving before the next time out his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.